Rob Gyro just carries Rob's neutral to the point that like Mega Man has to really consider it. So we'll see how you place this one through. Honestly, it's great to see a Mega Man here in MSM Online. Like, literally the character that has inspired this tournament series. Yeah. I think, you know, the script says that Wadi has to lose this right now. I'll tell you what, man. Last time I saw Wadi in offline when he was in SoCal, the script said he was supposed to lose and he ended up winning the whole tournament, so... I yeah, he <laughs> used, didn't he use like Rosa and Wii Fit or something? Like yeah, he was using Wii Rosa Wii. and Wii Fit. I remember Nico was upset. <laughs> That's all I remember. It's like, this guy came to our region and cleaned house, and I couldn't even beat him. Yeah, Wadi well, is a very strong player. Always has been. Uh, with multiple characters, but uh, especially in Ultimate with this Rob. So, Rob is just no, the top no tier. Surprised. Rob is the online top tier pick, man. Why not pick one of the best characters online? Let's see. It's my first time seeing you actually play. I always see his name around pretty far in these online tournaments. Oh, what and, a great uh, angle you know, on Obviously that. for a reason, getting this far in Mega Man, it's not super easy. No, not at all. I think the character, the character is arguably really strong high tier. It's just the skill required to play the character is not necessarily easy. There's a lot of skill that has to go through in terms of like tech skill, but also some knowledge. The one thing I have to know about, I can say about Mega Man for sure, is, is if you know how to play, if you know how to speedrun Mega Man, I feel like you can play this character in general. Yeah, they did a really good job of uh, making the way that Mega Man feels uh, very similar to his games. They gave Mega Man more love in Smash Bros than they've given Mega Man in the past few years of Capcom. That's all I'm saying, bro. Mega Man, pre-patch Mega Man was busted. Like, Drip MN says, yeah. like, real ones know Mega Man is broken. Now, pre-patch Mega Man was broken. Yeah, the Leaf Shield Infinite, or whatever you want to call it. That got fixed very quickly. Yeah, as it, as it should have. Right now, though, you have a really good spacing, man. Also, some really interesting gyro plays off stage. Like, that, that angle, like, through the gyro right there, to go straight up at the ledge to just make his recovery even safer. He's very tricky. Yeah, this is something I can tell right now. Oh, big damage already. Oh, double back air too, and all the way gets him at the corner, but you know Rob can easily fight back with the laser, all the way charged. You looking for some space to slowly get through the center stage. What a good getup attack on that timing too, because that gets rid of, I was going to say, great way to jump to, and oh, my, okay, that was a setup there. Crash Bomber, then he jumps over Rob, gets the down air, but unfortunately the Crash Bomber hits Mega Man still in the process, but that was great either way. You just knows. I have to watch myself if I come back center stage because that's what Wadi is looking to call me out for is those ways to come back in. Yeah, Wadi well, finally sneaking in that arm rotor, but still, I really feel like you have command and control this match so far. Oh, oh, missing the down tilt uh, follow up there, unfortunate. Oh. I, oh, the laser missed. That's really unfortunate for Rod. Even though he got the trip on the down so he wasn't able to get a confirm. Oh, nice. Okay. Really making it hard for Rod to just safely get back to the ground. He has to avoid so many things. Wow. Leaf shield into the back here. This is some really good Mega Man movement. Barely misses the forward smash on the neutral get up. Definitely would have killed at this percent. All right, well, slowly Wadi has brought things back here. 146, 97, you oh, watch his out. Mm -hmm, forward air. Wow, that's a lot of knockback. I actually thought you was going to wait for the move to end and just run up up tilt. But oh. who needs it? Everyone forgets about the ledge jump in ultimate. Yeah, of course, back air. Such a strong move in terms of knockback. Multi hits, but just overall, really great move. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mechman has, like, one of the best ledge jump back airs in the game. For, yeah, free. Also, shout out to Sonic Mega, aka Sean Chiplock, also a really, really strong voice actor. Uh, has voice acted many, many of your favorite animes as the main character. He used to call Mega Man's back air the bear claw just because it came from, I think it was like Slash Man, and then of course it's a back air and the claw, so Slash Man. Alright, well, once again, you looking for ways to come back center stage. What a way to just try to hold himself. A shield. shield. Yeah, what a way yep. to sneak through. Oh, so he's so smart about the leaf shield too. I think he recognized that if uh, Wadi is just holding shield on the leaf shield and he's next to him, he can just punish him. Oh, what's he gonna do out here? But yeah. Okay, I thought maybe he might delay his mash, but Wadi catches that. But uh, yeah, he was uh, very smart about using his tools as Mega Man. Um, yeah, again with the leaf shield, if he knows that Wadi's gonna block most of the hits, he just jumps away 
It oh. makes it safe. Oh. Look at the angle on that metal blade. He is chasing this yep. man down and he knows I can. If he's landing, I gotta make sure he's gonna struggle oh. to get out. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a Rashido moment. He set this man to the skies. Wait, what was that? <laughs> what was that? I didn't see that before. <laughs> Do okay. you like it? Do you like it? I just added it recently. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I've been but, waiting uh, for the perfect excuse to add it. <laughs> uh, like, I've been waiting for like the moment. He set this man to the skies. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, yeah, so what happened with Wadi in that spot was, I don't blame him for jumping there, but um, you will not die to that usually if you don't uh, jump after the move ends, because it pushes you up really high. A lot of people don't die flat out from the move, but just because they jumped in the blast zone. You know, that's right. what happened with Wadi there. Unfortunately, like, it's really hard to avoid that situation because he was literally struggling to land. Like, he was having to dodge up airs and gyros and all sorts of crazy stuff from Mega Man to where he just kind of, like, tried to use his jump just, you know, have a better chance of landing. But, fortunately, yeah. that was a bad decision. And that's you, possible. what you did is he put the shoe on the other foot, right? Like, and vice versa, Wadi made it hard for you to land on the stage. Because he knows, like, I got to stop this Mega Man. And you was looking for every single special in the book to just try to get center stage. When the, when it was the other way around, man, used tools just pretty much came into action and it's forced Wadi to go to the Mewtwo. So we'll see how things go, man. I hope you guys oh, did enjoy that Rashido moment. Uh, definitely one of the characters Wadi was known for way back in Smash 4, almost sounds like forever ago. I mean, it's like, what, six years ago, man, since we <laughs> Smash 4? But nonetheless here, that is gonna be the Shadow Ball to cover the role at that distance. And I think that's what Wadi is looking for here is just a lot of ways he can cover some things on Mega Man but also being able to do a couple more close range pressure against the character as well. Yeah, I wonder if he's also thinking about the confusion reflector as well in this matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. He might even also, I mean, it's not the same exact character as Smash 4 Mega Man, but he definitely did play this matchup a lot uh, in the previous game. So maybe a little bit of familiarity with the Mewtwo. Oh, Ooh, yeah, it covers the walls. Roll. Yeah, That's and it's good too. Player. Cause your your mindset is like, if I go for a normal getup, Mewtwo can cancel that and then punish me. If I stay at the ledge, he'll throw Shadow Ball. And the way that Shadow Ball moves is very awkward because it moves up and down on the hitbox, as you can see there. And it can even potentially hit you at the ledge. So there's a lot of things you have to respect when it comes to that move. Definitely. Don't count out you though. He's actually applying a lot of pressure. Oh, but that dash back dash attack from Wadi. Wow, such good movement right now. Yeah, Shadow Ball, very effective for Mewtwo. It can go through a lot of what Mega Man tries to throw out. Yeah, having a projectile that goes through a lot of your opponent's projectiles as well is just strong overall. Because it forces them to really evaluate that kind of war of attrition. That's a back roll to the back throw. Classic Smash 4 stuff here, but what a great way to use that confusion. Like you said, Strides, it's, a, it's an extra tool to try to come back on the stage against a character like Mega Man and the aggression here from Neutral Art to Up Tilt. Oh, I thought that was going to be up smash out shield, but man, you tries to go for his own up smash out shield. It's barely missing. Oh. Yep, that's why he wants that confusion. Yeah. He reflected forward smash right back in his face. Well, most of the projectiles anyway. Yeah, and even then, look at the way, even though Wadi missed the punish there, it's just the fact that he can cancel Shadow Ball, and he forced you to go for a jump in a range that if Wadi just timed the action there, he can get the punish. And Wadi's you watch the, the use timing to jump over the Shadow Ball in that spot was so good. And it lets yeah. him gain the stock. That was actually so good. But Wadi doesn't care anything that he's doing. Raw force smash. Just do it. He was very strong, by the way. Yeah, and has throw a double back air. Wait, Great play. Wait. Okay, chase to the ledge with the up B. A lot of shield pressure at the least shield, but Wadi gets out of it. Oh. Yeah. You almost went a little bit untouched there. 56% though. He's on good pace to make the slow comeback. And honestly, that's the thing about the character. The comeback is always a possibility, depending on how much you can pressure your opponent. But just looking at how Leaf Shield comes into play and Wadi breaks through here with down tilt. Oh yeah, I'm loving the Mewtwo switch from Wadi right now. He's just playing like so much more comfortable. It seems getting a lot of better punishes as well. Okay. Sneaks in the back air. Pretty scary too, but you, <laughs> he's desperate to get this stock. No! Oh, Wadi, go for a big tech chase with the disable. You find that opening with the up tilt, and maybe this is what he needs to bring it back. Look at the percent. It's already going up so fast. I'm sorry, I'm still, I'm still looking back at that interaction. That was a smart read from Roddy, but 
And the less you breaks through, and now it's even stocks. Like I said, the possibility of making a comeback is always Tech there. Chase? Barely missing it too, yeah, and then the barely. crash bomber. Oh, a lot of damage right here. Wadi. I think he actually did teleport into uh, Mega Man to see if he hit him too with the crash bomb. Oh, that was smart. Oh. He crossed him up with forward air, then goes and sticks the crash bomber. That was a two for one opportunity. Oh, so scary. Wadi's very close to dying right now. You sneaks in the back air. This is only a best of three, oh. guys, and this oh. is definitely do or die for Wadi. There's a back air. The teleport too. Has a fully charged shadow ball. How does he get back Let's to stage? No, oh, no, he missed it. Punish. Has a shadow ball here. Okay, look at look at you's ways oh. coming back. Yeah, that was a great play because he tried to fake out a potential opportunity there, going for oh. jumps, and then using Wadi. metal blade. Wadi wasted his shadow ball earlier too. Mm -hmm. Has it charged up a little bit now. You, I think he wants to get this snipe right here. Good on you oh, to just barely. wait to go for empty oh, hops, but also burn the second jump to slowly come back on stage and then fake out the metal blade or a down air. And that's how really smart how he pressures Wadi into that situation. Look at that pressure he's got at the corner. Oh, it's actually the tough trade. Wadi. Uh, okay, Wadi kept using um, Shadow Ball to interrupt Mega Man's force smash. Uh, but the thing is, it doesn't actually just 